What's going on, my fellow wealth creators? Matty Ice here. Welcome to my final video of 2023. It's been a lot of fun starting this new channel. Hopefully, you guys are getting a lot of value out of it. And uh, I'm looking forward to 2024. But I got to tell you, I cannot think of a better way to end the year and start 2024 than with what I'm about to share with you now. It is definitely my proudest moment. But it's also the reason I started this channel and why I'm so passionate about sharing the infinite banking concept and the power of properly structured dividend paying whole life insurance policies. And it's just because they, they, we get so many benefits and there's so many awesome ways to use the policy that can be absolutely life changing, not just for ourselves, but for our loved ones, friends, community, who, you know, whatever that's uh, whatever's important in your life and why you set the policies up, everybody can benefit from it. It allows you to show up a lot more powerfully in your life. I I'm telling you guys, like it's, uh, it kind of, it still gives me chills. Just kind of just thinking about this, like, wow, did this, did this really just happen? Right? So today I'm proud to say that I was able to use my policy to consolidate $12,000 of my mother's credit card debt. All of her credit card debt has been consolidated as of today. And guys, I, I cannot explain that feeling to you, not to mention all of the incredible things that it does for my mother financially. All right, we're going to get into that. And uh, I, I want to talk about the benefits of doing this, why it makes sense, why sometimes it might not make sense, and also how we set this up as well. Because it's not, I didn't just cut her a check. Here's $12,000. Have a nice day, right? That we, we have a plan in place. We have an amortization schedule for her to pay that loan back. Because every time we she makes that payment, it goes back into my policy. It restores the cash value in what I now call our family bank, right? So, you know, uh, we talk. Uh, I talk a lot about using our policies for uh, using these types of policies for investment opportunities and building wealth and stuff like that, which I'm absolutely still going to do, and I'm still able to do. Uh, I still have enough, plenty of cash value to do that, right? But it's not always just about an internal rate of return. How, what, what's the percentage rate of return that I can earn from my policy, right? That's not what, that's not the only thing that we're doing here, especially like when it comes to internal rate of return of the policy. Like when I hear people talk about that, it's like, you don't understand all of the other um, incredible benefits that we get from these policies. If you're only concerned about internal rate of return, like you're, you're, you're missing the whole point that that is just a bonus. The fact that our, uh, like, when I consolidated the $12,000 of credit card debt, that $12,000 is still compounding every single year at 3 to 5% tax-free, uninterrupted. That's a great bonus. That's not why I set up the policy though to get 3 to 5% tax-free every year. That's, I just consider that a bonus. I set the policy up to be much more efficient in building wealth, but also to provide a much an incredibly powerful financial foundation for my family, for myself, for my loved ones. The fact that I was, that I had this in place when I found out that my mom had this much credit card debt, cause I had no idea. It came up last week at the time of this recording, it came up last week when uh, I was at her house for dinner, it, just having a conversation. And it came up about, uh, she told me how much money she was paying every single month towards her credit card. It's like, mom, how much credit card debt are we talking about here? That's a that's a lot of money. She 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 would pay seven hundred to a thousand dollars every single month, trying to pay these credit cards off. I'm like, and she told me she had almost twelve thousand dollars of credit card debt, and I was just shocked. Like I I had no idea that she had that much credit card debt because she's actually doing better financially. Uh, she's a public school teacher. Um, you know, it takes a little while to start making a, a little bit of money in that, uh, in that career. But I had no idea that she had that much credit card debt. And so when I, when I, as soon as I heard that guys, what do you think I thought? What, what do you think my first thought was? Policy, infinite banking. I, I have my own bank here. And, and actually uh, the other thing that triggered that thought was she actually tried to get a consolidation loan from the bank and they denied her. Probably because, I mean, a lot of the cards were maxed out. You know, debt to income ratio is pretty crazy. Your credit score is probably not that good, right? So I, I guess it makes sense. But my bank doesn't say no to mom, okay? So I immediately, I was like, okay, we are solving this tonight. 
So we we wrote out all of the um, all of the balances for every single card, guys. She had thirteen credit cards, thirteen. Absolutely insane. That's, that's just crazy. But th this is the power right here, the true power of infinite banking, cash value, whole life insurance policies, in my opinion. And and you just you can't put a price tag on this. You can't put a rate of return on this. The fact that I was able to consolidate all of my mother's credit card debt like that. My bank said yes. Every other bank said no. My bank said yes. So let's go through some of the some of the benefits here because I, I want the light bulb to go off for you guys. Like the, paying off debt and consolidating debt is just one way that we can use our policy. If you follow my channel, like I talk, I talk a lot about, you know, uh, large capital purchases. I'm going to be doing equipment flipping and private money lending and all that stuff to actually generate rates of return. But this, you really can't put a rate of return on, in my opinion. Like this is invaluable. Being able to provide this type of benefit to your family. I don't know. You just, you can't, you can't put a rate of return on that. So I got some bullet points here that uh, I want to go through really quick. Here's, um, here's why this was a no brainer to me. All right. So, so when we did this, first off, she's no longer paying 25 to 28% interest anymore. The, uh, the loan rate policy on, on my policy loan, it's five and a half percent. We did an amortization. We set up an amortization schedule for her at six and a half because it's probably going to go up a little bit more just because interest rates are higher. But we'll see. Um, regardless, it'll just she'll just pay the loan off faster. And we uh, we we spread it out over three years. So we did a three year personal consolidation loan. Now you might be thinking to yourself uh, to yourself, well, Matt, why are you making your your mom pay you back? We're not <laughs> okay. Um, whenever you borrow from your policy, guys, we want to pay it back, right? We treat this like our own bank, okay? Like if you were to get a consolidation loan from your third-party bank or credit union down the street, would you say, well, why would we pay that back? No, you, you got to pay them back. You, when you're gonna, if you're going to do infinite banking, guys, you have to treat this like your own bank, like you would any other bank, if not better, okay? Um, and and here's, here's, here's one of the reasons why. We're going to go through a bunch of benefits here. Is every payment she makes, it restores the cash value in my policy and what I call our family bank so that should something come up later on down the road, an emergency, we have that cash value available again. And, and also it restores the cash value to, so that um, I can use that money for other opportunities to build more wealth, set up more policies later on down the road, right? Uh, because that, that's, uh, it's, you know, it's what moms do, I guess. <laughs> they, they worry. Uh, she asked me, well, how does this impact you? I, I don't, I don't want to be a burden on you or anything. I said, mom, this doesn't impact me at all. The only thing it does is I don't have the $12,000 available to take advantage of an opportunity. But guess what? I funded it properly. So I still have plenty of cash value that I can still take advantage of opportunities with. So that's why it, it was just a no brainer to me. That's really the only impact though, guys. The $12,000 that we use to consolidate her credit card debt is still growing, un getting uninterrupted compound growth tax-free three to five percent every single year as if I never touched it because I didn't. I borrowed the life insurance company's money. And now we, we set up this amortization schedule for her to pay the loan off over three years at, uh, I think we set it up at six or six and a half percent, whatever. So it's gonna help her uh, pay, it, pay it faster. But would you rather pay 25 to 28% interest to credit card companies or would you rather pay 6.5% back into the family bank? Because all the principal that gets paid into that is restored in cash value. The, 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 the interest goes to the life insurance company. That's a small price to pay compared to, watch this, guys, how much money this puts back into her pocket every single month. We're talking about $500 to $800 per month. Every single month goes right back into her pocket. That's, is, that, that's just crazy to me. <laughs> that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money every single month. Here's, here's the other interesting thing, like the timing of this was really, really interesting, is um, her student loan resume, like the payments for her student loan resumes uh, next month. And, and at, at the time of this recording, it's a couple of days. It's $400 per month for her student loan. That's crazy. That, man, that's a lot of money for a student loan. And uh, I imagine that's going to be for millions of Americans all across the country, 
It's uh, that's crazy. But here's the thing is because I had this set up and I funded it properly and I had the cash value available, we consolidated this. The fact that we're putting $500 to $800 per month back into her pocket, she now has the money to pay off her student loan, which it'll be paid off in a couple of years. Plus, she'll be able to save more. She'll still have extra money in her pocket. So the fact that she's getting another bill right now, which this is life, guys. These things happen. All of a sudden, you get you get hit. Your, your car breaks down. The, the roof collapses. You need a new fence or, you know, uh, Johnny needs braces, whatever. Uh, student loan payment resumes. Like, life happens. and But in this particular scenario, it's not going to impact her lifestyle at all because we just put $500 to $800 per month, per month back into her pocket. So she went from seven hundred to a thousand dollars per month to about roughly uh, added out uh, added up to three hundred sixty seven dollars a month to pay off the policy loan over three years. And of course, she has the option to pay it off faster if she wants, right? But no more high interest puts five hundred eight hundred bucks a month back into her pocket. Like, on what planet does that not make sense? And it's putting money back into our family bank so that we can use that money again later on if we need to. All right. Uh, the other thing, too, obviously, uh, it's going to significantly improve her credit score because a lot of these cards were maxed out. It's going to bring her utilization rate, I mean, basically to zero uh, in the beginning. And uh, here, here's the here's the other important side of this scenario, guys. It's not just about consolidating the debt. We have to address what got us to that amount of debt in the first place. And we had a really strong conversation about that to make sure that she doesn't end up in the same position again. So uh, we cut up 10 out of 13 cards. She's never going to use 10 out of the 13 again. She keeps three. And basically, this is the way I use credit cards. I use credit cards for just about, uh, I use one credit card for like everything. And it's because I get 2% unlimited cash back on all purchases. So why wouldn't I? And then, and then I just pay it off every month and I get, you know, pretty, I mean, it's not like life-changing money or anything, but it adds up, right? Uh, where you get cash back, 100, 150 bucks, 200 bucks a month, whatever, depending on your expenses. So that's what she's going to use the cards for now. But it's important to make sure that you address the reasons and the, the issues that cause you to get into that much debt in the first place so that you don't go back to it, right? You don't repeat the same mistakes. You make sure that you're using these credit cards correctly, right? So that was a big part of the conversation. All right, so it's going to significantly improve her credit score, which leads me to the next point is now, now this is this is optional, but this is an interesting way to think about this. Okay, there's a lot of different options here is let's say six months down the road, three, three to six months down the road, when um, all of the debt that's been paid off that has been reported to the credit bureaus, her it, it is um, it's impacted her, like it's increased her credit score, right? What she can do now is she can go back to the bank and get a, a true like consolidation loan through the bank. I mean, it's a true consolidation loan already, but like actually going through a traditional institution for this and she can uh, like, it, it would depend on the interest rate. Like we don't want to pay 10% interest or whatever. Like we want it as close as possible to what we're already paying. Otherwise it, it wouldn't make too much sense, but she can then get a like a, a consolidation loan from a bank or a credit union, pay off the policy loan. And the reason that she would do that is one, it wouldn't uh, hopefully impact her payment very much uh, to begin with, right? So, so that wouldn't change, but it restores all of the cash value in my policy again. And now I have that liquidity to take advantage of other opportunities, right? That's optional. Uh, I'm good either way. Uh, I'm working on setting up my second policy right now, so I'm not I'm not too worried about that. But that is an option. Is when we're consolidating these things, especially when it comes to credit card debt, because it usually has a very negative impact on your credit if you're not using it correctly and your utilization rate is really high. Debt to income ratio is not great. Maybe you're behind on payments. Whatever, right? It's usually a negative impact. So when you take care of that and you you significantly improve your credit score. Well, now six months down the road, you can get a consolidation loan to pay off the policy loan. Now you've got the loan with the bank, hopefully the same payment every single month, but now you have the liquidity available again in the, in the, uh, the policy. Now you can take advantage of other opportunities, right? So uh, 
another thing that uh, another benefit is that the the money that she saves, like just think about this, guys, because uh, she's uh, sixty, uh, almost sixty, getting close to retirement. Can you imagine getting into retirement with twelve thousand dollars in credit card debt still, where you're paying seven hundred to a thousand dollars per month in your retirement? That is crazy. But now, because it's consolidated, she can take all the money that she's saving, minus you know the student loan, but that's going to be paid off in a couple of years anyways. She could take that and save it, put it towards her retirement. How about this? Maybe setting up her own policy, which we're definitely going to do at some point. I will probably assist with it, and I'll, I'll front load it for her, and then you know she'll do the annual payments, whatever, right, just to kickstart it. Um, but she can put money towards her own policy so that she gets all of the living benefits as well. Cause again, you know, going into retirement as people get old, as we get older, you know, we get, people get sick and, you know, we're, you know, things happen. Right. And one of the, one of the greatest expenses in, in retirement is long-term medical care. Right. And at some point we, uh, she might need help, who knows, but whatever. But the, the point is is one of the benefits of having her own policy is she would have access to a large portion of her death benefit in the form of a chronic or terminal illness rider right so now we're starting now we can start to reallocate some of those dollars that she was putting towards credit cards into something that's actually going to benefit her financially long term where these policies give her you know the the death benefit the living benefits of the chronic and terminal illness heck she could borrow against her own policy if she actually needed it and she's building a little bit of wealth too like you know, getting that compound growth, you know, it, you need a lot longer. Uh, like it, it's usually a little bit better to start that when you're younger, but still the policy can grow really good uh, when, when set up correctly. So it, it can, it can be a form of uh, potential retirement income for her as well. If we set it up right. Right. So all of the money that we're saving, we can now maybe put into our own policy as well. And uh, the last thing that I'll end with is just this massive external rate of return. So for me, there's two parts to this when it comes to rate of return. You have internal and external. Everybody loves talking about the internal rate of return. How much is my policy going to grow every single year? And look, I'm not trying to necessarily downplay that. That is like we always want to try and get the best rate of return that we can. But that shouldn't be the only thing that we're talking about. That shouldn't be the main focus point, focal point of the conversation. Like, again, I alluded to this earlier. That is just a bonus. How we use our policy in our life. and and and. And actually, the way I should say it, too, is the, the benefits that we get for our own situation, the problems it solves for our situation. That's where the real power of these policies comes into play, guys. Internal rate of return is great, but the external rate of return, all the benefits, all the problems that it solves, all the life-changing things that we can do with it, all the ways that we can build wealth with it, create financial efficiency, eliminate opportunity costs build emergency and opportunity funds like man <laughs> there's so many benefits to this that that we just we can't forget about that and actually that should be the main thing that we think about when we're setting up these policies it's not the internal rate of return guys that's a bonus okay it's how we're able to use the policy how it brings us peace of mind how it allows us to build well sleep better at night show up more powerfully uh, for our families in our business or whatever you know, that's where the, the real rate of return is, in my opinion. So anyways, uh, yeah, we're almost at the 20-minute mark. I'll, I'll go ahead and wrap up with that. I hope that was helpful, guys. I hope it inspires you a little bit, gives you some different ways to think about using the policy. If You know, maybe if uh, you have uh, some credit card debt right now that you're um, trying to consolidate, maybe you're paying it off, but you know, it's going to take forever to pay off. And, you know, you, maybe you make decent income, you have some savings, we could set a policy up for you, then you can consolidate, whatever. It, it all comes down to your specific situation. But I, I hope I, I just I make these videos to show you guys the real power of these policies because it is it's just absolutely incredible when we set them up correctly and we utilize them correctly. Right. So anyways, um, I hope it's been a great year for you guys. Really appreciate you checking out the channel. I hope it's been valuable and uh, I hope that you'll stick around, subscribe and get more value out of the the. The next, uh, the next year of videos, I'm really excited for 2024. There's going to be a lot of really cool stuff that I'm going to share with you guys. And I'm just sharing my journey, sharing how I'm using my policy and what it's doing for me uh, to hopefully inspire you guys, uh, teach you something, right? Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, happy New Year's, guys. Hope uh, you are absolutely crushing it. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Maddie Ice is out. To your success.